So I mentioned in a previous video that you can also manage your dependencies using a tool called Bedrock. And to do so, we'll first have to change our environment from the uh, preferred setup to a custom environment, um, allowing us to control engine X and the PHP version. And then once you're happy and you've set it up as a custom environment, we'll have to go in and edit the Nginx configuration to point our site path to a different directory. But before we do that, I want to first cover what Bedrock is and how we can go about using it. So to use Bedrock, we need PHP version 7.1 or above. And we also need Composer. And you can go ahead and install a Bedrock application using the installation process found here. I'll run through this really quickly and speed it up in the playback and then show you what we're left with after running the installation process. Cool, so I've just gone ahead and run our Bedrock installation process. And now if we go into our Watchank is made directory or your site directory in a uh, local by flywheel and open up app, you can see I've installed uh, a Bedrock folder beside the public folder. And if we go into here, we have a new uh, setup. And within Bedrock, it installs WordPress as a dependency. So if we go into web, and then WordPress. This is essentially the standard WordPress environment setup you'd get. It has all the admin files, includes, and content folder. But then if we go into app, you'll see we have what you'd normally find in wp-content. And essentially what this does is our application will live inside the app folder and the WordPress core will live within the web, web folder. Um, or the WP folder rather. And we can configure the WP config.php file using a .n file, which allows us to store our environment variables without committing them to a repository. So there's a lot of clever stuff going on behind the scenes, but I'll run through with you now how to set up the .nv file. So We'll need a database name, user, and password. We don't need all this optional um, environment variables. And we can find all of this information in our original public folder. So you can see there's local, root, root, and local host. So we'll be taking local and the root and entering them into our .env file or .env. Um, this is a development environment, and we're going to be using what Jack has made .test, and we're going to leave our site URL as is. If you open up this link, we will get a series of randomly generated environment variables that we need. So we can go ahead and copy these and paste them there, and that is our environment set up. So. All that is left to do is to change the um, local by flywheel environment from looking in public to looking into bedrock. Um, and we can do this by going into our conf folder within our local by flywheel environment, going into engine X. And I believe looking in this folder, you can see it's looking at app and then public. If we change this to bedrock, save that and stop the site. And then reboot it. Now, when we go into <laughs> what Jags made the test, if everything went okay, which it didn't, we're getting a 403 forbidden. Um, I'll just need a couple minutes to go look at the configuration.
Cool. So <laughs> I found out that uh, it was a bit of a mess up on my part. In the Nginx configuration, you want to point to Bedrock, but then you also want to point to the directory web within Bedrock. And this is because it contains the WP config and it basically does all the processing within there. So if you change your root to bedrock forward slash web forward slash, then it should work. I've gone into my WordPress uh, dashboard and you can now see I've got a warning that I need to upgrade my version of WordPress, but we also have um, an empty list of plugins, but we have some must use ones, which are bedrock dependencies and our themes. We have 2019 and a couple more than our usual Bedrock um, local by flywheel install. And so the next step I want to go through is managing our plugins. So I've gone ahead and copy and pasted a setup that I use for my traditional Gatsby WordPress environments. Um, I'll be leaving a link to the source code in the description so you can go ahead and copy and paste or download the code. It's kind of a modification of the base uh, composer file that you'd get from a traditional Bedrock install, except we've got our new WP GraphQL plugins, um, and we've got some standard uh, plugins that are released in the WordPress uh, archive. So within our um, terminal where we've installed our Bedrock installation, you want to use composer update if you've already got a environment set up. And what this will do is it'll look at the composer.json file now and compare the dependencies that have already been installed and bring in the new ones. So some stuff to note here is like advanced custom fields pro. This might fail um, in this build because I haven't entered in the ACF pro key. Um, you'll want to enter that in your .env file. So as it's pulling in those, I'll just quickly throw my um, ACF Pro key into my .env file while that's happening. And then I will continue the video once the installation is complete. And as you can see, when we finish running our Compose update, we've got a bunch of installation messages um, a lot of them are coming from my cache because I've already installed the plugins on other projects. But um, essentially what we're doing is we're installing all of these plugins into um, our MU plugin directory. So you can see here, this is where the composer configuration says any plugins specified here will need to be in the MU plugins directory. And if we look in our bedrock folder again, within our app folder, we have a ton of new plugins and these are all managed now using composer i can specify what version to pull in um, what github repo they live at if they're not um, in the plugin store if we go into our plugins we should now find a ton of new must use plugins um, and these are all uh, essential for us to demo how um, GraphQL works and set up our Gatsby environment. And in the next video, I'll be going over how we use these plugins and what they're for.